folks, today we're taking a look at uh, a bit more world versus world in our Guild Wars 2 Diamond. It's number 35. Uh, there's a bunch of tips over on the website, so click the link below to get to those. Uh, world versus world can be quite frustrating to begin with um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, not a, a lot happens um, for huge amounts of time. You can just be roaming around looking for something to do, which is quite a bit different to the PvE where you can uh, teleport anywhere you want. Not so here. There's still things that you can do individually, but your best bet is as soon as you get in, jump on that map, find a group, because being part of a group is the biggest part of World vs. World. There's no point in trying to play it alone because the enemies are stronger than you and even 1v1 one one. there's a good chance that you won't die playing against AI and you're unlikely to come across one person 1v1 one one. for great justice so yeah first thing first find a group if you can't do that there are things you can do you will come across uh, packs where you can just try and wipe them out as soon as possible. That makes, that does affect the enemy. It may not seem like a small thing, but it's not. Plus you get experience. Uh, it's all towards your experience. Uh, your character grows both in World vs. World and over in the PvE. So don't worry too much about that side of things. Don't worry too much about not being a huge part of it, not storming the castles or whatever, because you'll get there. Take it slow to begin with. Things might take a little bit longer than they perhaps do in the PvE, but there you go, that, that's what it is. You get a little bonus experience as a result as well. Of course, uh, being alone means that there are certain situations where you just will not be helpful. Be ready to run if you have to. Adrenaline rising. As you can see, uh, our location, our keep, is under attack. And there's nothing that one person can do. You may have seen then that there's a small army coming across that hill. Just run for it. There's no shame in trying to find a way out because there's nothing you can do on your own. It is a little bit... Uh, the best part of this game is just standing on the ramparts there and taking a look over and seeing a whole army coming towards you. There's nothing you can do and I wouldn't suggest that you try but just kind of try and find a way out and hopefully you'll be more successful than I was because uh, it kind of all went wrong for me. <laughs> of course if I'd have stayed with a group this probably wouldn't have happened. But, uh, thank you for watching Guild Wars, our Guild Wars Diary. Uh, be sure to watch next week. We're going back to the PvE with a look and uh, don't forget to subscribe and take across to the website for more tips.